This past weekend, our very own state team, Eastern Washington, competed in the FCS football playoff, where they suffered a devastating 42 to 20 loss to North Dakota State. Jared Garantano, the Washington State transfer quarterback from the University of Tennessee, will bring, quote, a mentality, as stated by Cougars head coach Nick Rolovich in an interview posted by 24-7 Sports. The former number one dual threat recruit stated, Behind me is New Beginnings Christian Fellowship, a local testing site, and now a new vaccination site, where people of all ages come to get their shot. While it is exciting that high school sports will be played, student athletes have spent the majority of the school year in the house. For some athletes, it is going to be a hard transition from the couch to in game shape. The pace of our vaccination program and availability are both on an upswing. Uh, we are averaging over seven day average now 43,764 doses every day. More than 1.7 million doses have been administered in the state of Washington. And we've had two days during the last week where we actually exceeded 60,000 doses a day. As per the Department of Health, the state of Washington is in Phase 1B of Tier 1, meaning vaccines are available to all people over the age of 65 and all people 50 and older living in multi-generational households. This is in addition to Phase 1, which includes health care workers, first responders, educators and school staff members, and child care workers. We expect that on March 22nd, a little less than three weeks from today, we will enter our second tier of phase 1B. We are also expanding who will be eligible in this next round. That will include critical workers who work in certain congregate settings will be eligible come March 22nd. Behind me is New Beginnings Christian Fellowship, a local testing site, and now a new vaccination site where people of all ages come to get their shot. As we continue to move forward, all people are encouraged to get vaccinated as soon as their time comes. I think that you need to look out for yourself, your family, and everything. And as I, of now, not all people have been vaccinated. Therefore, it is advised that you continue to wear your mask and practice social distancing as you wait. In Tukwila, I'm Jacoby Wright. I got it about six months ago, and I began to pray about it asking the Lord, Lord, are you sure that you want me to do this? Eleanor Northington, better known as Miss L, is the current Martin Luther King Jr. Memorial Baptist Church Sunday School Superintendent who had a vision about how she wanted this year's Easter program to be presented. However, not everyone understood what she had in mind. I took it to the Sunday School teachers and I explained to them about what I wanted to do for Easter. When I told them about it, they were like, really? Everybody knows how successful all her programs or events that she puts on are. I'm here at Jean Coulon Memorial Park, where most of the action was filmed for the Easter Zoom service. I lift my hands in total admiration. Not everybody is going to be for you. You know, whether you know them or not, you know, sometimes you're going to be on a road all by yourself. But Jesus, to me, he means a lot to me because a man gave his life for me. I owe a debt I can never repay, but the least I could do for him is tell the story correctly. According to Ms. L, there were about 70 people who tuned into the Zoom call on Sunday morning. She said, quote, on a scale of one to 10, I would give the entire program a eight and a half because there are still some things that could have been done better. In Tukwila, I'm Jacoby Wright.